Welcome to our channel again, Hanging with the Harrisons. Before we get started here with this easy peasy recipe that I have, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share our channel into the wonderful world. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get all of our fabulous videos. All right, y'all. Well, let's just dive right on in because I don't want to take up a lot of time today, um, your time today, uh, on this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now. The recipe that I have for you today is salmon croquettes. Yes, and it's easy, it's simple, not a lot of fuss, and the ingredients are very simple. Now, I will let you know what else you can put in yours if you want to, but y'all know me, I'm simple and easy peasy as always. So, the first thing that you're going to need, okay, you're going to need a can of, and I don't know why, I was looking at this can, you know, I, Pick this can up, but this can was defective. Look at it. It's upside down. Upside down. See the bottom? And look, the all of the, this is upside down. I should have got a discount on this can, but I didn't. And so the top was so hard to get off. And I was like, what is going on? I noticed that it was defective. But I got in it. I got my salmon out. So let's go ahead. All right, so. What you want to do is you want to get your salmon out of the can and you want to put it into a bowl. And I've already cut, took the deboned it because there are some little bones in there. Some people take their bones out, some people don't. They're really soft. They'll just probably melt in your mouth anyway, but I don't want them in mine, so I took them out, right? And you're going to need some, you can have some breadcrumbs, but I like Ritz crackers. And I know that these Ritz crackers are going to give it some good flavor and you put the Ritz, cra the Ritz crackers in the salmon. All right, you're also gonna need egg, okay? Egg, you're gonna need some egg. And you're gonna need some, I was told to try some Obey seasoning in mine, right? So I'm gonna try Obey seasoning. I'm also going to put some onion powder and garlic powder in mine. I'm gonna put a little pepper. And I'm also gonna probably just hit it with a little bit of mild of Raging Cajun uh, seasoning. And the reason why I use those seasoning, and most people probably don't use raisin, raisin Cajun seasoning or onion powder or garlic powder, they probably use like green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper. They probably use all of that in theirs. And also they probably use onion in theirs. Okay, so I don't use all of that. So I kind of go around all of that and use my other seasoning because I don't like onion. I don't like bell pepper to be crunchy in my food, any type of bell pepper. I just don't like that in my food, okay? So I go other routes. I don't like crunchy onion in my food. And to me, in salmon croquette, uh, you chop, you, you're chopping it up fine, but some people don't, and you can see it in there, and uh-uh, no, I'm just going to leave that alone, and we're just going to go ahead and put this meal together. So I've already taken my salmon out of the can. I've already kind of mashed it up with my hand. So now what I'm going to do, I have two eggs in this bowl, one can of salmon. I have two eggs in this bowl. I may not even need, need both eggs in here, but um, you, and it doesn't matter what, what, um, what form or uh, uh, format of ingredients, how you're putting them in your salmon. You don't have to, you just put it in there. You just put it in there. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of my Raging Cajun season, and I'm going to just sprinkle it in there, like so. I'm just going to sprinkle it in there, season it up some for myself, sprinkle it on in there. Okay, I'm going to take a little pepper, and I'm going to sprinkle some pepper in there. Uh-huh, I'm going to take a little onion powder and garlic powder, and I'm going to sprinkle that in there. Sprinkle that in there. I'm going to grab me a spoon and I'm going to mix that together. Mix that together. And the reason that you're putting all of this in here together like this is because you want to make sure the eggs is going to hold your, cramin, your salmon, your cramming, your salmon croquettes together. And you know, I was watching one of these cooking shows and I saw somebody 
and they put a little bit of honey in theirs. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try some honey in it too. I'm, I'm going to just try some new stuff today. Yes, I'm going to try some new stuff today, y'all. And um, of course, y'all know that Reg is going to come in and he's going to do the taste test, my taste tester. Um, we I've cooked salmon croquettes before, but I'm using some little bit of different um, seasoning. Okay, let me get the Obey seasoning with the Obey. And I'm going to, you know, dab some of it in there. Put some of it in there. All righty. Stir it up. I'm going to put the rest of my egg in here. Mix it all in there real good. Real good. I didn't I didn't ask how much, you know, someone was telling me about the Obey seasoning. I didn't ask exactly how much I'm supposed to put in there. I'm just going to put it in there to my liking, and I think I need to put a little bit more in there. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. I, I hope it don't be over bay over the top. <laughs> Over bay over the top. I hope and I hope it's not spicy. I, I've never eaten no bay seasoning before. I probably should have sprinkled some in my hand and tasted it first before I started doing all this. Now, okay, this is my uh, my um, Ritz cracker crumb because you put that in there too. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm cooking this in the air fryer. Yeah, I'm cooking this in the air fryer. So I'm gonna need another egg. So I'm taking some of the crumbs and I'm just mixing it in here. You know, this these crumbs make your uh it actually make your salmon go stretches it out. It goes a little bit farther. It makes more, you know. So all right, I am taking this like so. I'm mixing it in there, mixing it in there, that those those cracker crumbs in there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some of these um uh, cracker um, crumbs as my um, as my topping for you know when I air fry them. Y'all, this, this really smells real good. This smells real good. This sure does. Mmm. Boy, these Ritz crackers on here. Y'all know those Ritz crackers are kind of buttery, you know? They are kind of buttery. And I think, y'all, I think, I think this is a good consistency for a ball. Yeah, look at that. It's going to make a nice little ball. Yeah, yeah. Now, and this is real easy. So, y'all, I'm going to go and get another egg, put it in a bowl so I can dip, and we can get this ready for the air fryer, okay? So, y'all just hang tight. I will be right back. Okay, guys, before we get started on forming our um, patties, remember, you want to spray your basket, and you want to preheat your basket before you put your, your food in the basket because you, want, you don't want that basket cold. You want it to be hot. So go ahead and preheat your basket and everything and get it ready. And once I get it preheated, I'll be back, okay? Hi, guys. I am back. My um, air fryer just said that it's ready for me to go ahead and put the salmon croquette in it. Now, one thing I just learned about the salmon croquettes is that you actually don't have to have an egg as your batter because the salmon croquettes are so soft, so soft, and I've already formed some patties. I've already formed some patties. They are so soft. I'm going to pull this out because it's ready. I'm pulling that out because it's ready. All you basically have to do is the, 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 um, the crackers or the breadcrumbs or whatever you use, uh, the crackers or breadcrumbs is going to stick to your patty anyway. I just noticed that. So the patties are soft. You know, the salmon croquettes are soft. So don't worry. You really don't have to worry about. You can just take those crackers, right? You can just take them and, and you can smash them into the patty. You know, because usually on your chicken or something like that, you're using that um, egg batter so that it will stick to the chicken so that your flour or your breadcrumbs or whatever it may be will stick to it. But with the salmon croquettes, all you do is press those crumbs down into that croquette. Let me show you. Look at that. You see how those crumbs are just pressed down and they're not moving. They are in there and they are not moving. Okay. With that one can, guys, with that one can, we have made five patties. Okay. Five patties. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get our um, basket 
And we are going to now place the croquettes in the hot basket. Yes, 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 yes. And when the when the um, fr air fryer tell me to turn my food, I'll turn my food. This is my first time doing, uh, last time I did the croquettes, I didn't do them in the air fryer. I did them on top of the stove. Okay, now they are in the basket. Look at that. Don't they look so pretty? They look so pretty, y'all. So pretty. And we're going to take our granola oil. And we're going to spray the top of them, you know, just to wet the bread crumb. Um, I have them for 10 minutes on 375. 10 minutes on 375. Let's just go over here where the air fryers are. So that's 10 minutes on 375. It's already set. And I'm just going to pop it in. All right, 10 minutes at 375. The basket is already hot and ready to go. So we'll come back midways when it's ready to flip them over so you guys can see that nice golden brown. I'm so excited about tasting these today. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to cook to go with these today. Because, you know, if you um, want to be healthy, a little bit more healthy, you can take... Um, some lettuce and do a lettuce wrap, you know, with the uh, salmon croquette. But I don't know. Maybe I'll cook some green peas with it or... Because it's really like a little appetizer. It's not really a meal meal, you know, per se. But um, it's something that if you're hungry, you can pop it in there real quick and easy. Um, easy peasy. And have you a nice little lunch or something like that with one can make five patties. Okay, guys, I will be back with you guys as soon as these things go halfway through. We'll flip them over, and um, this video will be very short. Okay, all righty. Okay, guys, we are halfway through. We are halfway through. Look at that. They are golden brown, golden brown. Yes, I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to flip them over, and they smell delicious. They smell so good. I'm going to flip them over, finish them off, and then I will be back. And Reggie will be back to taste them for you. Woo! They smell good. They smell really good. All right, y'all. Hang tight. Be with you shortly. I popped back in because I wanted to tell you guys, do not forget. Do not forget after you flip them to spray the other side so you can wet the, uh, the cr crackers. And wet so they can fry very nicely okay when you flip them over spray them again with the granola oil and what I've decided to do because I want to make them a little bit crispier I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit because I want it to be a little bit darker I you know I like my stuff cooked real good so I'm going that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so that uh, probably it's on 75 right now 80 I'm gonna put it up to about 85 and then let it fry for the last few minutes and I'll be back with y'all to let you know how this side turns out okay and if I need to fry it any longer um, for my sake because I know they're gonna be done I'll let you guys know that too I'll let you know everything I do every step of the way okay thank you so much for hanging with the hairs if y'all just hang tight okay guys the salmon croquettes are finished and I let them go for about another five minutes. So about a total of 15 minutes for me. Um, so Reg is testing it right now. I decided to cook some mac and cheese with it, some Velveeta mac and cheese and some green peas with it. So we got him taste testing for us right now. Mr. Taste Tester. But look at them, y'all. Don't they look so nice and golden brown? That one cooked a little bit more on the corner, but I like mine crispy on the corner. Don't that look good? Yes, with those Ritz crackers. I thought they supposed to be watching me take this. They are. I was showing them the croquettes. Hold on. All right, so Red said salmon croquettes are a little dry sometimes. But I don't think these are dry. I think these are good dry and moist. Meat. Look, look at them, y'all. They he, taste like salmon croquettes. All right. And Reg put a little bit of ranch, creamy ranch dressing on his. And you can put whatever you want, you know, for flavor on yours. 
Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, they, are they still hot? You better get you some lot of water to drink. Are they spicy hot? No, it just make you drink water. Oh, okay. All Fish right, y'all. In general. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for Harrison. Thank you so much. My finger in there. Thank you so much for hanging with the Harrisons. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to our channel. Share our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can get all of our fabulous videos. This tea is sweet. Mm hmm What tea is that, baby? Lipton. That's Lipton tea. The best. All right, y'all. Okay, well, our taste tester gave us a thumbs up. You give us a thumbs up, baby? Yeah. Uh, that didn't sound too convincing to me. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, he likes it. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you the next time. <laughs>